Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what is the correct way or the easiest way to optimize your mobile version or your website uh, using the Pixel Perfect Builder. So the first thing you need to do is go to your builders and then select the first builder which is Pixel Perfect. I'm going to work on a website that I built before. I already have the desktop version so I'm going to optimize it for mobile. I'm going to it to the editor. And then as you can see, I haven't touched the, uh, the mobile version yet. That's what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to click on, on this button and then click on platform settings. I'm going to select yes to, to be able to edit the mobile version. So I'm going to save. And then I'm going to move back to the mobile version editor. As you can see, uh, I don't have any elements yet added here. So you can click on hit this button here and copy desktop you can see that all of the uh, like all of the elements have moved to this editor and I have to configure it again because on like on pixel perfect it's responsive but you still need to configure the mobile version so I'm gonna show you like what is the, the easiest way so I'm going first to move all of the elements to the side so I can see better the background and everything I'm going to delete this one because I'm, I'm not going to need it. And this one too. And I'm going to just move the background a little bit. And then move this to the side. Um, the, the first thing, like the text, that's the, like the trickiest part. Because sometimes when you edit this version, like the mobile version, it messed up the the desktop version so I highly recommend to duplicate the element and then work with a duplicated one so I'm going to duplicate this one which is like the the first text that I want to edit I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to work with this one this one you can delete it or you can just hide it just right click on the text and then click on this I button I'm going to Oh, if you right click on it and then choose the customization button, you will be able to choose like the correct size of, of the text. So I'm going to just adjust it to the mobile version and then I'm going to move these elements to the side too. Let me do put this a little bit bigger and then move the Builder a logo to the top and then move this back to here. Okay, so I have this text and I also have the live version here, so I can have like an idea on how um, I want the mobile version to look like. I want it to look like similar to the desktop version, but there are a few things that I will need to uh, maybe delete or and other, uh, other things that I need to adjust for mobile version because all of the things as for example this menu uh, it won't work on mobile like so I need to have this border uh, menu here so uh, that's that's the first element that I, that I deleted because it doesn't it, it will not work on mobile so um, let's see so I have the logo and then I have these images here so because this is like a support page I needed to be in different languages so I I'm going to add these images again and then adjust the size of this and then do the same with this text I'm going to duplicate the text work with this one and this one I'm going to hide it I'm gonna put it back here and then this one I already duplicated, so I'm going. I'm just going to adjust it to the size of my screen. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this one, hide this one, and then adjust the text to the size of my screen. Okay, here comes the uh, like the things that you need to configure to avoid like having overlapping elements on the live version. Um, many of you have uh, this kind of 
text boxes on your editor. I'm going to duplicate this one just to show you. And then on the editor it looks good. You don't have any overlapping element, but then if you go to the mobile version, it will look like a little bit like uh, like messy. So I the like the few things that I recommend to do is maybe add the text boxes to like another boxes. You can add any like any of these boxes, and then just right click on it, go to appearance, color, and then like select the transparent option and add the text here. I'm not gonna do this with this because the other thing that I highly recommend is just to give a little bit of a space on the edges of the screen uh, because this is like this editor is uh, it's like a standard size but there are a few screen mobile versions that uh, are a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger and if for example the your phone the screen is a little bit smaller than this one uh, the pixel perfect builder, like when you save the side and you are watching, like and you're seeing like the left version, it will adjust the size, the side. I'm sorry, to the size of your screen. So it, it's gonna do this. Let me let me show you a little bit. And as you can see that now you can see like the texts are uh, overlapping each other. So. Um, what I recommend is just to do this text boxes a little bit smaller and give like leave these spaces between the uh, like the to on the left and the right side and do the same with this one. And maybe if you have like an image, you need to also give uh, give a space between the text and uh, and the image too. So I'm gonna put it here. So just in case, like your um, your phone screen is, is smaller than this one, the text will try to do this, and it will not overlap the text with the other elements you have on your page. So that is the like the correct way to do it, or the fastest way to do it. And as you can see, I have like already the first part, the first part of my website, and it took me like I don't know how like ten minutes. So maybe you can try this, and I uh, hope it helps. And if you have any any issues or any question, just feel free to contact our support team, and they will be uh, they will be glad to help you.